everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a weekly vlog. So I am starting this vlog off on today is Thursday and my hair is looking so crazy because I'm just off to get it cut so I thought before I leave I'll just show you like a quick before um but I thought before I do that I will show you what I got up to yesterday um I didn't film very much but I had a cute little day with Rachel um so I will insert that now everyone so i am just getting myself ready to head into london i am meeting uh, my friend rachel you guys probably follow her yeah i'm traveling into london to meet her and hopefully we are going to shoot some outfits together and maybe get lunch or something uh, which will be really nice but i am slightly worried about trying to get into london because this is the week of all the rail strikes um, and tube strikes today's wednesday um and i was hoping that things were going to kind of not get back to normal but be running a bit smoother because i know yesterday was quite crazy and pretty much everything was cancelled and not running so i was hoping to drive to the uh tube station which is not that far it's only like 20 minutes from my house um and get on a tube to go straight into central um but it seems like all lines are still suspended it says that after eight o'clock today they're going to resume and it's literally 7 59 now so we will see but i don't think it's promising so i might have to drive to another local station because i live in a small village so nothing's running out of where i live all day or coming in here all day so i might have to drive to another station and get the train from there it says that those trains are running so fingers crossed by the time i get to the station they actually are but then when i get to because my train's going to marlebone by the time i get there i'm hoping that the tubes will or some tubes will be running otherwise i'm going to have to get a cab which i think is going to be quite difficult so yeah we've probably not picked the best week to do this but i've literally completely run out of um outfit pictures so it was kind of necessary so as i said it's eight o'clock now my train is at uh ten past nine so i have got some time to finish getting ready sort myself out and get to the train station i also had a problem this week with my car which is very annoying um one of the warning lights came on so i took it to the garage on monday and they like need a part for it or something um but they didn't have that part they needed to order it so they can't do it until at least tomorrow so i'm hoping that my car will be all right to drive to the station they said at the garage that it would be okay to drive but you just never know do you so yeah that is what i am up to today it's going to be such a nice day today so i really hope i can get into london because it's a perfect day for shooting perhaps a little bit too hot actually but it's so nice to finally have some good weather here in england we're well into the swing of summer and it just doesn't feel like it yet we've had a few hot days last week was really hot which was nice i sat in the garden and got some tan lines which is good because i go away in just over two weeks so i wanted like a little bit of a base tan is this focused on my face i feel like i've just been talking that whole time and that's not been in focus sorry if that's the case yeah i go away in just over two weeks so i'm hoping to build up a little bit of color before i go because i hate that first day on holiday you know when you put your swimsuit on and you're so pale i have some really really cute um outfits to shoot today so i'm very excited to show you them i did a zara haul <clears throat> excuse me i did a zara uh, order the other day and there's some really cute pieces so at some point in this vlog i will um show you the whole haul because it's not long enough for me to make it into a full video so i'll just pop it in this vlog in terms of what else will be in this vlog i really 
don't know could be another kind of mismatch vlog that i posted the other week of just a little bit of everything but that seemed to go down okay so maybe i'll do that more often but yeah i'm gonna finish getting ready and i'll keep you updated on the train situation if you see a little moving montage of me on the train then you'll know everything went to plan So yeah, today, Thursday, haircut day. My hair is all over the place at the moment. I'm normally one of those people that um, does their hair before they go to the hairdressers, cleans before the cleaner comes. Um, but today I thought, I can't be bothered, I'm just gonna leave it. Um, I've still got the balayage highlights running through it that I got done in October, which I'm loving. Um, when I got them done, I said to Angel, the girl that did it, can you just make it look nice when it grows out? Because I'm not one of those people that is very good at upkeep with their hair. I haven't had my hair cut since October. I just keep forgetting and I know it's really bad, but yeah, it definitely needs a cut. It's a bit straggly at the ends and I want it a bit shorter because it's got quite long. So I want a good few inches off, a bit more shaping around the front. I'm just going to a local salon and paying for it myself, it's not gifted or anything. Um, I'm very, very excited because yeah, I feel like I need a hair refresh. So I believe I mentioned yesterday that I was having some trouble with my car. Um, and I'm gonna drop my car off today at the garage and then walk to the hairdressers because it's not very far And then because I don't think my car will be done by the time I'm finished at the hairdressers I'm then gonna walk home, which is quite a long walk. It's like a 5k walk um, And it does look like it's gonna rain if it rains I might just get a taxi, but I'm going with the intention to walk um, So that is why I'm dressed like this very very comfy my Adenola leggings uh, my New Balance trainers, my hoodie. Um, it's still really quite humid though and warm. So I've just got a vest on underneath in case I need to take my hoodie off. But that is the plan. I've then got some Zara bits to show you as well. You might have seen some yesterday because I shot them with Rachel. Um, but I'm going to do like a proper Zara mini haul when I get back. And that is as far as I know for this vlog. But yeah, anyway, this is my hair. You can probably see it a bit better. Um, in this mirror. This is the before. There's not too much shape to it. There's a little bit at the front. Um, I've got it in a side party at the moment. I normally wear it in a center. But yeah, you can see there's a tiny bit of shaping at the front here, but I want that a bit shorter and a few more layers around the front. So we shall see. So I am home and my hair is all refreshed. Nice and short now. All the dead ends are chopped off. Um, and it's just looking and feeling so much better. You cannot beat that feeling when you come out of the hairdressers and your hair is all smooth and shiny. I did do the 5K walk home, um, so I'm feeling pretty tired now. Um, I was gonna film a Zara Reel this afternoon, but I think I'm just gonna do some admin this afternoon and then I'll film the Reel tomorrow or at the weekend. Um, but yeah, super happy with my hair and it did look a lot nicer than this when I left the salon But obviously the 5k walk home didn't really help. Right girls. I've just got makeup all over this hoodie So ignore it, but I am gonna do the Zara haul Now before I forget now these pieces. I think I mentioned this. Let me just turn this brightness up um, I think I mentioned this earlier. Some of these pieces I wore yesterday in London when I was shooting. I'll just show you them and then I'll get, I'll explain when I get to it. So first up is this gorgeous dress that I picked up. I have been after a slip dress for a while and I was gonna get a white one that I saw, but I thought maybe that's a bit too like holiday, bridal. I don't know how wearable it would be. So I picked up this black one and I just love the cutouts on it. So. Obviously these are the spaghetti straps and then it has the skirt and there's like a cutout on it and then it ties up really, really nicely at the back. Obviously I will link all of these down below so you can kind of see on the website how they look. Um, and there will also be a try on reel over on my Instagram. I'll pop my 
a link to my Instagram in the description box, but it's um, Amy Beth video if you want to search it. Um, so I got this gorgeous, gorgeous Zara slip dress. I got it in a size extra small, I think. Yeah, I got it in an XS and it fits really nicely. It's got a little zip at the side. Um, it's just super handy. Sorry, I just got a text. <laughs> I've been watching too much Love Island. Yeah, I wore it yesterday just with some sandals and then I put my black blazer over the top of it as well. So super casual, but it would also look great with heels as well. So next up is my favorite outfit from the haul. Um, and again, this is something I shot yesterday, but I'm just obsessed with this outfit. So these are the trousers. I think the trousers are okay, yeah, they are. So they're this gorgeous kind of like a beige kind of color, really nice like tight straight leg fitting and then they go into a split at the bottom. Um, and what I love about them is they are not too long. They are such a perfect length. They kind of come just below my ankle. They don't touch the floor or anything, um, but they're just a super lovely fitting pair of trousers. Got these in an extra small as well. Um, and then to go with it, the matching top, which is kind of um, covered in marks. And it's because when I packed it away yesterday after shooting it, I accidentally put a pair of shoes on the top of it um, and the bottom of the shoes have obviously rubbed all over the um, top. So I need to sponge this out. It will come out because I'm like rubbing it now and it's coming off, but I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. Um, but yeah, this is the top. So it's kind of like a bandeau, um waistcoat kind of thing with these black buttons and it's just absolutely gorgeous the two together look so nice but i would also wear this on its own with like a pair of blue straight leg jeans and some heels i just think it's such a gorgeous set um, and the trousers obviously you could wear on their own with like a white shirt now you may remember in a previous zara haul that i did i had quite a similar outfit but it was linen and it had a um, off the shoulder kind of waistcoat style top that was like folded at the top um and i was umming and ahhing about whether to keep it or not because the top was 80 pounds and the trousers were 70 so it was like 150 pounds for the entire outfit and yeah i wasn't sure anyway i ended up returning it um because i didn't wear it to the occasion that i thought i was going to wear it to and i'm so glad i did because this one is so much more affordable i feel like it fits me nicer um yeah and i'm just really happy with this so i got both the trousers and the top in an extra small and then i've got a few other little bits so i picked up this cropped shirt which i think is super cute um, it's elasticated at the back and then obviously as you can see at the front here it just comes down a bit longer kind of like in a corset style which i really love and i thought that would look really nice with these trousers as well i then also just picked up a little white spaghetti strap basic because you never have enough of these it's only 9.99 and i got this in a size extra small to small and then finally i picked up a pair of straight leg jeans I just loved the colour of these. I have quite a few pairs of jeans, but I just love this blue denim. I thought it was so nice. And they're really nice fitting, actually. They are a tiny bit tight. I normally find that Zara jeans come up quite small on me and I have to size up to a 10. Um, but because I've lost a bit of weight, I thought, no, I'm going to go for an 8 and see if they fit. And they do, like, just fit me i can do them up but they are a bit like uncomfortable but i don't really want to go for the size up because it's going to be super loose around my waist um i think the issue is they're just not like super high waisted if they're a little bit more high waisted then they would fit better about around my waist but because they're a bit lower kind of towards my hips i think that's why they're a bit tighter but i'm gonna keep them um and i hope i'll be able to squeeze into them soon and they'll be a bit more comfortable i can wear them um i just wouldn't wear them for like if i was sitting down eating because that would just be a disaster um and they were only 29.99 which i thought was such an affordable price for such a nice pair of jeans and again i thought these would look so nice with the shirt um but you could also dress them up with the waistcoat as well so that is my little mini zara haul um as i said i'll link everything in the description box um not really sure what else this vlog is going to entail might do some skincare or something in it um or i might make some plans who knows hi everyone it's 6.45 on Monday morning and I am heading into London nice and early. I have a couple of um, 
appointments. I'm getting a facial, which I am very much looking forward to. I've got some um, like makeup removal with me to take this off before I get in. Um, but I've just walked to Maple, and it's super warm outside, even at this time. Um, just giving my hair a quick brush through. I did do it yesterday. Um, it's kind of dropped down now because I had it in a clip and stuff. But I'm thinking I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'll take the clip with me, maybe. But yeah, because I've got makeup on, it's a bit hard to give you like a proper before and after. But I've got a few blemishes that just don't seem to want to go. Um, so I'm hoping that this facial will kind of clear my skin up a bit. Um, unclog my pores, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to skin work, which is a place I've been to before for a facial. So I'll leave there info in the description box. I'll just quickly show you what I'm wearing to um, head into London this morning. I've just got these cropped leggings on which I think I actually wore earlier in the week. Might be wrong, I can't remember. Um, but they're so nice, they're just from Adenola. But I think they're sold out, so I'll link a similar pair. Um, my New Balance trainers. I've then got a little black vest on underneath and my worst behaviour hoodie. But I think I will actually um, take this hoodie off because I'm so hot and then I've just got my basket bag. So off I go. I am home from my facial um, definitely got a lovely like post facial face um, it feels really really nice and smooth I had the city cleanse facial at skin work I will leave their website um, down below in case you fancy checking them out but it was so lovely and relaxing um, and I've got a nice little bit of glow to my skin now the lady that did it also put like a leave-on peel on my skin as well so I'm gonna be nice and kind to it now um, it's later on in the day and I've been doing some work so I'm now gonna do like my evening skincare it's not really evening yet it's only half past four but I'm gonna do it now um, so I can show you guys what I'm using and then I can edit this vlog. So I'm going to cleanse with my favourite cleanser, the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is a fairly new one that I've just opened, which I'm excited about. I still have a little bit of tinted moisturiser on my face because I put that on uh, this afternoon because I had a Zoom meeting and... I didn't want to do it with any makeup on, if I'm honest, so I put a little bit of tinted moisturiser and concealer on, so I'm going to get that off with this cleansing balm. I probably would double cleanse um, if I had a full face of makeup, but because it's only a little bit, I'm just going to cleanse with this cleansing balm alone today. If I was going to double cleanse, I would use the Amora Vixa, um like foam cleanser. It's like a face wash which I really really enjoy using. So most days I will double cleanse and I always like to do a balm cleanser followed by like a face wash. I'm then going to just use one of my face halo pads. These are amazing especially the black ones because they don't get all that gross and dirty. I have a few white ones and you can see they're kind of like a little bit off colour whereas the black doesn't show the marks. So the cleanser has literally just melted all the remaining makeup off of my face there wasn't really very much on there to be honest so my first skincare step in the morning and in the evening is always an eye cream i'm using this one by ren it is the brightening dark circle eye cream which i definitely need because look at my dark circles i have to say this since i had the teardrop filler my under eyes the improvement is insane um, I obviously do have quite a lot of pigmentation underneath. They are dark. That is something that I'm not really going to be able to get away from um, just because it's genetic and there's nothing I can really do to reverse the darkness under there. Um, but the filler has just completely transformed my face, I think, anyway. It's probably something that only I would really notice. I just think Dr. Armour did an incredible job. When I use concealer now, like, it actually works. Before I was using concealer and I was thinking, God, I must be using the wrong concealer because it's not working. Whereas now, it actually covers my dark circles and brightens my face, which is what concealer is supposed to do. Um, I'm just putting on the Ren Elixir. This is what it looks like. I just got it from Look Fantastic. Just leaves my skin nice and glowy. I use like three or four drops and just rub it in my hands and pat it all over my face. 
and then just leave that to soak in for a minute before I put my moisturizer on. So now that that has kind of sunk into my skin, I'm just gonna moisturize. I'm using the Ren Overnight Glow. This is the Dark Spot Sleeping Cream, and I really like this. I don't really have too many like dark spots. I do have a little bit of pigmentation that's come up here um, since the sun has been out, but I find this really helps with like any spot scarring that I have, and my skin has been all over the place recently um because i have been forgetting to take my skin um supplements i use the js health ones um and i forgot to take them for like a week and my skin completely broke out so it just proves that they really are working um i just went to rub in that moisturizer and realized i forgot to put my tan face drops on these are the tan lux illuminating self tan face drops I'm just going to use one, two, three, four. If you have watched my channel for a while, you know how much I love those Tan Lux face drops. They are so, so good. The best face tan that I have ever used. Got some more um, Tan Lux products actually that I could show you if you are interested because they very kindly sent me a little bundle. That bottle of uh, face drops that is nearly finished. I purchased myself but they kindly sent me a new one so I wouldn't be without which is very kind yeah it's the best tan doesn't break me out goes on really evenly long lasting as well and they do it in a lighter shade if you prefer um, I'm gonna wash my hands now before I forget otherwise I'll wake up with orange hands so that is all I'm gonna do to my skin for tonight because obviously I've had a facial so I just wanted to keep it nice and minimal um, in terms of the Tan Lux products I have, I have been sent this Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. This is the Super Glow one. And I've never tried this before, but it's like a gradual tan for your face as well, I presume. So I'm going to give this a go once this one has finished, which it nearly is. Um, and I also have Tan Lux, the Gradual Body Moisturizer, and the Hydra Mousse as well. Both of these I haven't tried yet, but I've heard really good thing so i will let you know i always love a gradual tan because i tend to put this underneath my fake tan just to help it fade a bit more evenly and keep it longer lasting really um so that's a good tip also i very kindly got sent this from ren this is the aha smart renewal body serum and i hadn't heard about this when they sent it to me they sent it in a box and it was like oh the tiktok phenomenon and i thought oh, i haven't seen that um and i spend a lot of time on tiktok you can follow me on there if you want um yeah and i hadn't heard of it so i thought oh okay well i better give it a try then and it says it kind of smooth skin um gets rid of like a shaving rash you know like that strawberry kind of skin and i've tried it a couple of times now and it's definitely my favorite body moisturizer that i have used i'll put this on before i put on like a gradual tan or a fake tan and i'm really really impressed with it you know when you use kind of like um a face cream that uh <laughs> i'll get my words out today you know when you use like uh, a face product that smoothens your face and creates like a film kind of like um, maybe like a primer or something this is what this does to my skin especially kind of the skin around like my bottom and my thighs is I don't know it's not always as pretty as it you get like you know maybe a bit of cellulite stretch marks like it just doesn't look great all the time and this really really smooths that out i'm so impressed with this product i can understand why it was like a tiktok phenomenon but yeah i'm really impressed with this so i'll obviously link that down below as well um oh there's something else i wanted to talk to you about so i did a look fantastic order the other day because i needed some more hair products so i did a big like olaplex order i got number three number four and number five which are like the mask and the um shampoo and conditioner which are products that i've used before and i also thought i'm gonna throw in number six so i purchased one of these which is the bond smoother it says leave in reparative styling cream reduces fizz fizz frizz nourishes and protects and this i can't believe it's taken me so long to buy this this is such a good product it leaves my hair you can't really see now because it's up and it's a little bit greasy at the front from the facial but this is amazing this is such a good product it works obviously really really well when you use it 
in combination with three, four and five. But even on its own, if I don't always use the Olaplex shampoo, I put this on kind of damp-ish hair, kind of I'll like rough dry it and then I'll put this through from the roots to the ends and it leaves my hair so silky, so smooth, it reduces the frizz so much especially in this warm weather my hair gets quite frizzy this is a great product that reduces that at the time of washing and it keeps it that way post wash so it's not like oh i've woken up and my hair is really frizzy and i need something to quickly fix it this kind of maintains control of the frizz all the time which i hope that made sense i'm not sure if i'm really making sense today i can't get my words out but yeah, I really, really love this. I've heard that if you use it um, mixed together with the oil, which I believe is number seven, then it uh, acts as a heat protection. I don't have the oil. I think my mum has it, but I don't have it. So um, I might get that and try it. Those are all the kind of new in beauty products that I have to show you. And I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope it's been interesting for you. I am off on holiday next week so there probably won't be a video next sunday um just because i don't think i'll be able to get myself all oh no there will be i tell a lie there will be there will be a pack with me pack with me for greece video that i will put live whilst i'm away it'll be the weekend after that there won't be one because i'm away i'm not going to vlog the trip or anything but i'm sure i will post over on instagram so you can follow me over there to keep updated if you like but yeah i think that's all i have to say thank you guys so much for all your lovely comments always none of them go unnoticed i'm very very appreciative of the support if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like and if you're new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very soon with another video bye